How is it going, this game? We are back in, you know where? Oh, crap. Yes, we are back in a medieval mod for 7 Days to Die. Oh, my goodness. Uh, looks like we got a couple of these. Oh, shit. Okay, there's a couple. And I found another. Uh... Can I hop this? Drink again. You might need this, brother. Oh, shit. I kind of figured that was surprised they weren't jumping up there, but they sure seem like, uh, yeah, okay. Let's get one on a path here. I can take them down. We've got a little bit of wine on us. Uh, uh, wait, actually, I need to bring them into town. Guys, can you all follow me here? Because I need all of you. Let's get all our attention here. We're going to need this. A merchant over here. Remind me that I had to mark her down. I was going to mark her down just before I left here. How y'all doing? I have no more room. That's the reason why we're doing this. Come on, everybody, follow me as much as possible. We're going to leave like that. Thank you so much for your cooperation. Yes, I need to look closer to town towards where I'm actually living uh, so I can loot this up. Did you guys make the mess over here? It looks like you did. You might have You might have made the mess. All right, I, I take that as a yes from uh, this guy. All right, let's, let's bring them all to town. Of course, making everybody extremely happy that I'm bringing back all this crap. These guys run a lot faster, don't they? Let's all keep together here, all together. All right, keep on going. We're going for home. Or near a tree at least, so I can build a chest. There we go, everybody stay together, everybody. Oh boy. Yep. A little faster, thank you. We will stick near a tree here. I, I'm I'm scaring them even worse than they've ever been scared. Uh, again, all about keeping sure, making sure we can actually keep the loot. I have way too much on me right now. And these guys are a little slower than usual. Come on, we're almost there. We're home, sweet home, right now. I'm going to bring in all complete death. And there's actually a girl right there. I just want to remember, there's a girl right there, which is northwest, northwest from the town. These guys are pretty slow, aren't they? I'm going to have to drink another beer by the time this all ends. They seem... Oh, shit. They seem really quick. But then they uh, they screw up here like this, like this. There we go. Okay, let's bring them all back around again. It's because my inventory, like I mentioned, is completely, completely full. Come on. Come on. Whoa, 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 there. Okay, this looks good here. There's a tree nearby. All right, this is good. Let's take them out here. I would prefer, of course, a little closer into a town, of course, near a base would be even better so I could test it out for a horde. I might have lost a couple of you on the way there, I think. Ah, oh, well, it's okay. It's still better than I, than I thought it would be. Are we all good? It's not time. Don't mess around with my shit. You guys better have some seriously good loot in you. I swear to God. This is not worth the whole chain gang maneuver. I don't even know where the hell my, my, my place was, actually, to tell you the truth. This is what the sad part is. Um, yeah, there's a vendor down there. I think we're right over there. I think we're right over there. Did they lose scent to me? There we go. They can get very confused, by the way, people. They can get extremely confused. Other people would like to also interfere with them, which they shouldn't. And I think right here is okay. We can figure out our place. I think our place is right around the corner. We'll deal with that now. We'll build a chest over here. All right. Skeletal Warrior number one, you're down. Thank you very much for being here. Now, we fought these guys before. I just want to see what it looks like before I kill them all. It's just so dark. I watch out my stamina, too. Make sure that beer is... Oh! Holy moly. If you don't know what an evil mod is, it's absolutely insane mod. Oh, I, I keep on missing my shot. There we go. 
You guys are freaking annoying as hell, boy. My God, these skeletons are friggin' like uberly tough. More than I have the actual other guys who look tougher. Oh wow. There we go. Okay, now you're starting to drop. Thank God for beer. No arrows left. I did find some feathers, not a whole lot, not enough to call home for and go, yay, it's the best ever. No, I thought you got you. Okay, he's done. Wow. You're gone. Yeah, no kidding, my... my, my Skills are going up. It's insane. I don't know what to. I hope you guys give gold or something. At least I can carry that. Oh, I shit you not. What? I mean, it, it makes sense they have nothing on them, right? But I thought we'd get something from them. Couple coins stuck in the rib cage. Are you kidding me? Oh no. I worked so hard to bring them back here, all excited and stuff. These are not ours, but these are just uh, you know, random people who just popped. I don't know. Wow. Okay. Nothing. None of those skeletons had anything? Not even the big boys? Holy crap, that sucks big time. Well, I, I was gonna sell you some shit, brother. But, um, yeah, I would look, I found another mer merchant right here. That's excellent, actually. Let's see. Oh, it's a book one, too. How you doing? Spiritual merchant. We need to come right back to you, Mr. Merchant. Alright, we're gonna head out to the merchant we just found. We should have to be right around a corner. I can't believe I missed that. I never t went up and turned left. I have no idea how I had missed it. But anyways, it is what it is. We're gonna move over here. I did put all, all the stuff back into the actual areas I needed to and of course we can actually maybe check out his oh I can't check out his bookcase, right? His bookcase is a non checking out one. Damn it. It's all good. We're gonna try and pick up everything we need. You don't need that, don't need that. You know what? I'll buy this for sure. Uh, you gotta take some, some time. I'll buy that. Time I know I have. Potions we know. This we know. This we do not know. Alright, I'll take that. Blungeons. Do we have that? Do we do everything here? Yes. And yeah, we do everything there too. Oh, it's all good. At least we, we have some stuff. That's pretty good. We should always check the guy down the street too. He might have some extra stuff. Uh, but for now, we're also gonna be selling off a lot of loot. To make sure we have more room. I mean, probably saying, oh my god, these are all actually things I've checked beforehand. I put them away uh, to double check to see that we don't need. Oh, shit, I need that. Damn it. I was actually just looking at all stuff. Ay, ay, ay. It's okay, we'll have to buy it again. It's more expensive now. He knows I ripped them off. It's okay. Thank you, asshole. It's all good. There's another one down here. We're gonna check out all the merchants we have completed. And again, what a way to start. I was just heading back to town and boom, that's what you get, right? You get a couple people. Thankfully enough, the merchants never seem to sleep. So yes, it gives us a chance at least to shop at night. It's easier to mark them down on the actual thing. I don't see anything brand new here at all. Inca presses in here. There's another wrench. Nothing that's uh, phenomenal. I think they actually do only restock in seven days. Some people say beforehand. I don't know. Maybe it's just that you happen to have uh, an area like that. But for one of the actual people that you didn't check out one of the merchants. I don't know. But my merchants seem to only restock on the actual days said, like day seven and such. Oh, our trees are starting to grow in. Our big row of trees. Very nice. We are going to check out the one last merchant here. Just double check to see if it's not just some kind of anomaly. It's very, very possible. Now, I still can't find, seem to find um, a couple of plants. 
I'm thinking I might need to go in those treacherous areas to actually to go and do that. Now, the horses don't seem to be in this area here, but there is some on the outskirts, which we found last episode. It's just me digging? Okay. I thought there was something else in here. I'm sure I've definitely been through here. I've run down this road so many times. There's one guy missing from there, one of the actual merchants that I have written down this one. He's not there anymore. I went up and down this road. And there all of a sudden, I went all the way down there and I came back and this guy appears. So I don't know. This might actually be some of these merchants either moving around or changing around. That's very possible. I'm not positive 110%. But uh, this is not the same guy either. Look, it's all different loot. And we're a much different area too. So vile poison, I'll buy that. Uh, fermented, yes. Uh, don't mind those badges. And fortitude, I'll take those for sure. Why not? I don't even know why we need this though. Uh, blood bags and these are crafting it first aid kits. Okay, you really need stuff for that. I thought it would just be something completely different. And there we go. So I would go and grab this, but I, I wouldn't want to lose all my money. It's so very cool. There seems to either be new merchants that show up, like I was mentioning, or the same ones. Uh, we have to just make sure we can see in the middle of the roads here. There is one more that's a little further out to the left hand side, but I was positive I've gone through this area beforehand and not seeing it. So yeah, it looks like there is a good possibility that it just, uh, yeah. They move around. Sorry. See aloe. Pick up aloe. Pick up anything you see that's that important. Alright, we're going to move back to our base. We're going to try and make a saddle and get ourselves rolling. Also see what else we can make with all the stuff we have. We are missing orc blood and other things. To make this a really, really good thing. Uh, <laughs> built to craft a little more than we have, actually. It'd be nice. But we're going to double check. We'll see the roads uh, if they have anything new. New merchants are just appearing. I don't see anything down here. Nothing that looks new. And the same thing down here. It looks like it's nothing new down here either. So really just a guy over here. That's fantastic. And uh, the other older ones, of course, didn't have any of the actual good, good stuff. So very, very weird. I don't know. But uh, it is what it is. It's fine. It's fine. All right, let's make a saddle. I do have strips, I'm pretty sure, already made. Positive, I had a couple of those. All right, metal strips. I don't have very much of them. Not a whole lot. So for metal strips, can I use? I think I use a press here, right? And I can use the actual uh, smelted iron. Perfect. Much better than using the other part. I was using a forged iron. All right. Metal strips. Let me kind of make here. All right. Let's make a just for for it to get done. Let's make fifty. So we have these things. We're going to need to make a couple saddles anyway, so it's going to take about a few minutes for us to get all completed. I did make some forged iron prior beforehand, so that's nice. And for the saddle itself, I think we need about a couple of these things, right? Three or four? Three possible? Is it three or four of them? Let's see here into our workbench and do saddle. Oh, it'd be helpful. I actually saw it. There we go. And saddle itself. There we go. That. So we need one metal strip. Okay, good. Cloth and leather. We have all that here. Cloth fragments and leather. Then we brought back up for all that work, but it's okay. And we'll craft up. Yeah, craft up two of these things. I've been very unlucky with horses. Better have an extra one on it. We'll get some more metal strips here. Let's we'll put away the vial of poison that we just picked up. And we're going to do a saddle bag. I can only make it. It takes five for each one. All right, we'll craft one. And I'll get a couple more of these suckers to go. There we go. Beauty. Let's do it again. And craft. So at least we'll have a, two sets of these. And that way we have no problems. No problems at all. Okay, so the vile poison we picked up right here. I did internal bleeding. I don't know how we're going to utilize this. Obviously, we're not going to use it on ourselves. We're not crazy enough. Elixir of fortitude here. And a stamina elixir, 100%. I don't know if we just use it. We drink it. Yeah, it's very possible. 50%. Wow. Very, very interesting. All this stuff we can actually pick up. And Fever View. This is actually one of the few things. Do I need to have all these on me? No. I... And that bonus set. Now, let's go and check out to see what we had left to do while we're waiting for this saddle. Because I am going to go head out and get myself a horse today. I'm going to run out a little further out and pick one up at this point. We got to try. It's going to drive me nuts if I don't have one. And the output of this is going to take a while for two of them. It's another minute. And after that, we have two saddlebags a minute each. Wow. It takes a long time. Takes a long time to get all it done. Okay, so poison over here. That's going over there. And this is fermented, right? Again, let's get a clean water for us to help out. And there goes some more fermented. 
And some more aloe, which is actually part of our quest to get it completed too. Bam. There she is. Very, very nice. And we'll let this continue going and all that. Let me just sort out. Oops. Let me just grab this. Beauty. And sort this out. And I'll be right back. Okay, so the alchemy wise, actually, I had to take off the uh, <laughs> the bow because it was just way too bright. Way too bright. It's really like 500 more of these smelted. I don't know why we have that. It's all good. Open this up. We're going to seal our quest. What we have left to do here, alchemy wise, a whole bunch. We still have Slayer. I don't know if there's any of these were bones. Kill spiders. We had 35 of them. We killed 35 of those things last time? That makes sense. It was quite a bit. Goblins and such. Uh, necromancers. I don't think we hit anything else that's pretty big. Goblin. Yeah, these ones we haven't hit at all. Crystal shards itself. A, feather, a piece feather. That's something we're going to have to hit up. And I think, um, yeah, we're going to have to see how we get that. I wonder if it's the actual... To consider that the actual dragon that we saw, which is, I think, I believe, I mean, again, I'm recording this back to back to back, so I'm sure things will be different, but yeah, I wonder if it is actually uh, the actual horses that were there, that the horse that was blowing actual fire out of them. I'm pretty sure it would be. It makes sense to me. All right, we're going to grab you. Saddle number one, done. We also have a whole bunch of skill points, so I know that I've been kind of lagging away, not touching with any of them. Should really spend some in actual things like this here. Uh, where is it? Blade knife guy. That's another 25 points here, which empty damage. Yeah, we're going to have to spend them out. We should really rack that up to the end. That's going to be needed. And of course, endurance. Stamina gain plus 40. I'll take you right now. Flex is going up. Constitution is okay. Medicine, barter, secret stash. We don't really worry about it. But we're going to have to do, uh, do some stuff with the actual building also we also built to build our own weapons as we progress but we're not going to do a whole bunch of them which is uh yes tool smithing there we go spent a whole shitload load of points and i think we're pretty good we have a saddle bag too nice uh we really don't need this book either we could have actually sold it i think right no this actually wouldn't have needed norden soldier shield i want one don't ask me why i just want one uh, soldier Shield. Northern Soldier Shield. Metal strips. Leather. Wood. That looks so freaking cool. I, I have that, don't I? We gotta see what it looks like, right? I mean, crazy not to. They put all this work into it. There you go, some more strips. And wood. Oh, excuse me. Pick up Z wood. And we can actually make one of these. Awesome. We'll see what it looks like. It won't be the highest quality, but at least see if we can actually put on both at the same time. I wonder if we can. If we can actually have both of those in our inventory at exactly the same time. That would be so friggin' cool if it was. There we go. How long left this thing? Nine seconds. And of course, we got our other saddles and stuff, which we can actually place right here into our workstation. Nice. All right, we already need that. We can pick that up. And uh, here, Northern Soldier Shield. All right. I don't think it's going to be able to equip this double, but let's see here. Oh, wow. I can't see shit when I walk with this. I guess you're trying, you have to block fire or something? How are you supposed to see what the frig are doing? Every time you click left, it hits it. All right. Well, that's pretty freaking interesting. Uh, really blinding, but very interesting. Now we need to find ourselves a horse today. And I still keep it anyways. How much is that worth? Because I made it though. Is that like worth some good cash? Like the fencing? I know the fencing is kind of like a something that I'll have to fix up. It looks like the fence, every time we actually use it, we can actually make this actual fencing down here. It's worth a bundle. So you can actually go and sell it to the actual merchants if you want to. Yes. Well, I spent the whole night chasing around trying to figure out, as you can see, I've been all the way up here. I started walking and ran around the lake here, came back around, ran around here to see if I can find a horse, and they're not here. Nope. And they're not the other place, too, so I don't know where they've gone now. Did they tr kind of slowly walk around, and they'll, there's not, the, I mean, there must be only a certain amount of them. I guess that's what it's changed to. 
definitely a lot harder than it used to be. But we're going to make our way to the actual merchant. I marked her down. I didn't actually go in and check to see what she had to loot. I just marked her down. And see where her location is. So that way we didn't forget. She's right up here in front of us. So it's fan for fantastic. That's just wood. God, it's crazy. I, I, I've never searched so hard for a freaking horse. Oh, my God. All right, let's do this here. Oh, look, she has a saddle bag and stuff. You know, at this point, I, I'll buy it. Did I bring the cash man? Did I'll buy it and some barbed wire fence. That's interesting. I'll buy the pulley because these are always handy. Horse reins. Every horse needs reins and I put them in. What the stay? Oh, stay in one place and stop them from wandering crafted on bench. Nice. Did not know we can do that. That's good to know. And buy. We need a horse though. But uh, I'll take the extra saddlebags and stuff. Uh, everything else I don't really need here. A wall torches. And now uh, we're we're good. Ah, uh, you know what? Screw it. I'll just buy it just to make her happy. Just so we can continue a good relationship. And like I said, I marked her down the map, so it should be pretty easy for us to go back. Oh, look at bird's nest right there. These ones I can't grab. Fine, I'll, I'll pick them afterwards. I have a couple mushrooms on me. Wow. Crazy. It's so crazy, and uh, it's all I'm doing is staring around looking for a darn horse. Probably missed like 20 bird, bird's nests just because I was so in tune, especially at nighttime. This is nice, this bow here. We can actually have some light, but it's very, very tough to see. For a distance, so I had to kind of like squint and try and make sure I'm not seeing anything. I see deer running around. I can see everything, but I could not find a horse. And the horse are white running around, except for the black one, which ends up being, I think, a dragon, if I'm not mistaken. But if not, a really messed up horse. I just wanted to say, really messed up horse. Again, I'm sure you guys respond back on those with Inkling Guppy about whether that's a dragon or not. Didn't really see the marking on it. I'll probably have seen it afterwards. I recorded back to back. So if you guys are wondering, you know, not actually from last time, that's probably why. Oh well. Morning has come. Now I have nothing really for this bow. If you guys see it, I have nothing to, to shoot. Uh, zero ammunition. But the only thing is, uh, I'm using it right now just for the actual uh, light. So it's become a light source. My main light source, and of course, our mega tree farm on the side here. Look at that. Our big tree farm. Now, I have some of those marking in the cotton fields that people are destroying these and then rebuilding them. I'm not sure if I could do it with a wrench or not to do it. I think I need the hammer. So they hit this and they go. They repair it. It takes two wood. Then they hit it again. And then they repair it. So they, they caught this or farming wood with that. So in case you guys weren't aware of it, you can do that. I mean, then hopefully that'll be changed as the game progresses. Oh, we have another merchant here. She's not on my list either. I think they move around. I, I, I guarantee they move around because I would have not missed this. Anyways, we'll do a safe checkpoint. We're going to find out where they move around because I'm actually marking them. And and if they're not there, there's one guy missing right now. I don't think they die either. So, yeah, let's see what she has. Uh, meat stew. I'll buy that. I should have bought both. There you go. I only thought you had one. What a bag of beer. King Stamina Bravado Stun as well. Okay. Bag of beer. And modern pesto we have. Cornbread, why not? And red tea. Yellow tea. And we got enough corn on a cob. Thank you, sweetheart. I'll pray shut that fire on the march. You don't have to know where the people are hiding the damn horses, do you? I have a feeling people are hiding them from me, and I'm very pleased about it. We're going to find them. I swear to God. There must be one in town. There was stables in town before. Unless he, like I said, removed it. It's very possible he just said, screw you. Uh, you know, go out there and find your own horse. It could be that, too. It could be that, too. You know, things are going to change. This mod is always going to change. There's someone inside the house. That's really rare. Especially with me around. I, I usually don't let them last that long. Oh, it's all good. Loot wise, I don't think we're desperate for it. I'm really just searching out areas. This is the only one at the straight. We have to take this down on this side. I'm going to have to freaking find a way to take this down sooner or later. It's going to take forever to do. I know they have the actual tools. I actually have a pickaxe and stuff, but that's going to be something I'll do off camera. We've been too busy going around. Of course, you guys can see we have defenses up here. We're going to need a little more. We need some more fences and stuff to progress. We even have a f nice little gate. That opens up, and this is a thousand hit points. And of course, we have our gates here, and we have these things. Very nice. 
very nice. All right, so I got everything kind of set up and ready to go. I started building up some fences and uh, spike fences, of course, and some spikes. I've also completed a whole bunch of other goodies here, so we're going to try and get that rolling right away. There's some kind of like a little bit of areas like this that are kind of opened up, which I don't really like. Uh, we're going to have to fix those up ASA freaking P. That is going to be a big problem. All right, let's just see this here. This is actually the spike wall. I didn't put, I put this down incorrectly. This would need to go another spike tramp, I guess, here. I think that's where we're going to end up doing. I hate to waste this, don't get wrong. But uh, really no choice right now. Oh yeah, while we're outside, let's not risk this. In case I get like surprised from behind us, the biggest problem I've been getting all the time is just to have my back turned. And I got a big problem all of a sudden, I got myself a horde. Let's do this here. Down, great. Move this fence around like this. Oops. God, right there and there if I click the right button it would be helpful that one and this was gonna be a big problem here like that all right so we're gonna have to we'll keep the other spikes there that's fine we need to finalize this area and this is gonna be four out so it's gonna be one one two three four Coming right out to here, right? Okay, so we're gonna wait for that part. I'm gonna try my best to at least get this all completed. I'm hoping to hit the from the front or where side I could drag it into. Because uh, now this is just gonna be a temporary kind of style. We, we can't we can't stop them fully stop them from uh, breaking in. If that's a thing, of course we can do our best. Don't just try and lay these down. These spikes. Oh damn it! I hate that grass shit that does that all the time. All right, we still need more. Still more are being made. Hopefully, we'll have enough to complete. I might have to go and chop down those trees I was telling you about before that I planted. Uh, that'll probably be the only way for me to get this completed for the next episode. All right, so we got spike trap here. And then we're going to need one, two, three, right? It's one, two, three. So it'll be one, two, and three here. Spikes itself. And I think I have 28 of them already made. We'll put that here. That banner is going to cost us two, I think. Oh, no, it's because the way I have to turn this thing around. It's all right. All right. Two and three. Damn it. One, two, three. Dig a hole. You can do this. And we'll place uh, this down here. You know what? Something else you brought up. I should just start using my try this out here to bring this back up. I think the hoe is still better, and this is actually a great way to level, level ground a lot. If you guys never seen this before, I've, I use this all the time uh, since I first started. Pretty much, this is the first thing I do. This levels out the ground nicely, so very, very easy to use. And sometimes level this levels this part out, but it doesn't look like it's going to happen today. Uh, it doesn't look like it's very much the problem. It just looks like we have a little bit of gap there. Again, not going to be perfect, but it's going to do very well. All right, let's do this again. One. Two, three, and we'll dig this one down here. We could do this. Again, I can't afford to make it more of spike traps. So if you guys are wondering, it's a very, very lengthy and expensive project. And there's a lot of chopping down trees and getting stuff ready. Uh, rope, many, many things. And three. And we can dig down here too. I think it'll be pretty successful. At least these are not powered, so we're not gonna need to worry about power. These are all automatic. I'm not sure how it works out in the actual mod itself, but I'm willing to keep it and leave it the way it is. It's fine. Three. And then we're gonna have the actual part here that's gonna go to the side. That's wicked. And we're gonna need another fence here. Let's go back up and get the other pieces. Finalize it for a whole night with our banner and our blight protection which is probably going to end very shortly all right not a whole lot more but it's something look at the reaction is actually we'll, we'll go back up when i hit that did i kind of or is just me oh it's because it's actually the little okay 
the little bubbles popping out are the actual flames, whatever it is. That's what's causing that effect. I thought the whole ground was turning blue in the side. I was like, holy crap, that's really cool. All right, we'll take this. Put frames. Bring these in. Ah, oh, shit. I'm not changing that one. Put that here. It's gonna be there. How far did I get here? Not far enough. I don't think I'm gonna have enough. What am I at 12? Oh, especially when I'm looking down and not doing it properly. Damn it. Ah. Uh, I'll just let's go and chop down those trees uh, in between videos. Oh. That's good enough. I'll take that. I'll take that. That's good. All right, so obviously these spikes here, I just took them out just to double check and uh, I have to put in another spike here, another one of these here. That's the reason why I did that. And yeah, they, they are pretty much tougher, the ones in front, of course. I don't know why it costs more. I don't know, maybe the damage is better. Uh, we will find out. Again, we'll just have fun. It also looks freaking awesome. I, I think they look really, really cool. Put a spike there. Nice. And we could put some barbed wire in the front here. To kind of slow them down. Uh, where's the barbed wire? In case they're going for the actual... Oh, well, maybe they'll put it right in front of this one. I think they're going to try and attack through the here. Well, that's not going to make any sense, is it? Just use it as a, another defense. One, two, three, one, two, three, and we'll do here. It might not be perfect, like I mentioned, but we'll, we'll, we'll be fine. We'll be fine. Three. And there. Maybe these ones we're just gonna have to not it's not gonna happen all the traps are not gonna happen this is the last minute kind of thing and we got no choice get away from here oh better than nothing i think we've done an excellent 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 job and uh yeah next episode we're gonna be doing a horde get yourself a rolling and balling and then of course as you saw skeletons we did try to find a horse i did try to find things we did explore quite a bit We've done pretty good, I mean, considering we're on foot, uh, exploring. This is all I mean, pretty darn far, isn't it? Pretty darn cool. Uh, I can't believe I was actually, actually that close to the... <laughs> when I went up there, I forgot to go back and actually check to see if there was any more snowberries on top. I don't think it would grow there enough, but we'll be hitting up to these trees uh, be between the actual... Th uh, well, in between the episodes and trying to get as much wood as I possibly can. And finalize maybe some more wood spikes and trying to get ourselves rolling. So that is my goal for right now. Whole lot of fun, but I'm not gonna bore you guys. There's gonna be about 30 trees I'm gonna knock down, so this is not something you're gonna have to worry about and watch. So again, if you guys like this series, and wanna see a whole lot more of it, make sure you smack the like button. This is your game edge, and I'll catch you guys on the flip side. Mm -hmm.